It's being called one of the worst scandals in the history of Minnesota, an alleged scheme involving daycare and what appears to be rampant fraud in a state program costing taxpayers as much as $100 million in a single year. But what's even more troubling is where the money's going, possibly overseas to fund terrorism. Five years ago, the Fox 9 investigators were first to report that daycare fraud was on the rise here in Minnesota. In order for the scheme to work, the daycare centers need to sign up low-income families that qualify for child care assistance funding. This video, from that same case, shows a man handing out envelopes of what are believed to be kickback payments to parents who are in on the fraud. How much confidence can you say that it's likely some of this money is going towards terrorism? I say absolutely, absolutely. Our sources tell us that. Uh, good sources uh, from the community, leaders. Sources in the Somali community tell us it's an open secret that starting a daycare center is a license to make money. The fraud is so widespread, they say, that people buy shares of daycare businesses to get a cut of the huge public subsidies that are pouring in. 15, investigators documented 14 million in carry-on cash. By 2016, it had mushroomed to 84 million and then last year, 100 million. What is the progress of these fraud investigations? What's being done? They're not doing all the investigations they should do. And actually, the current process we have, they keep paying and paying and paying millions of dollars out till they can prove something instead of just cutting off the, the money. And so, um, just so people understand, so you don't get too many questions in your mind, what if Mr. Stillman testify and then he'll step away? Uh, my name is Scott Stillman. I worked for the Department of Human Services. I started working there in 2007. Became the manager of the Digital Forensics Lab in 2010. I tracked individuals overseas using their phone to um, compounds in the desert in countries that are not friendly to the United States where they would spend months over there while they were operating their DHS daycare business. The dollar amount of fraud, Medicaid fraud, it, particularly in personal care attendant fraud, is way exceeds the daycare fraud. But most of that money is going to extravagant lifestyles, um, drugs. Because I think that there is a strong possibility this money is being used against innocent civilians and against our military. I, I was not informed. A federal investigation would reveal that there are there other entities involved in this who may may be receiving um, benefits from this fraud. We continue our investigation, as you heard from Mr. Stillman. We continue our investigation, as you heard from Mr. Stillman. As I understand it, the whistleblower said that this fraud has been going on for at least five years. So had this whistleblower not come forward, where would we be at today? Would this fraud still just be rampant and undetected? What whistleblower are you referring to? The person, uh, the Scott DHS? Stillman, Stillman. When he testified before the uh, senators. What whistleblower are you referring to? What whistleblower are you referring to? We continue our investigation, as you heard from Mr. Stillman. What whistleblower are you referring to? What whistleblower are you referring to? <laughs> Uh, how do you sleep at night knowing what's going on in your agency? I want to ask, where is uh, Congressman Emmer? Silence is consent. Fraud and waste and abuse. Hold the government accountable. Stop this fraud. I'm tired of paying all free money. Yeah. You know, it's 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 ridiculous. Uh, hundred million dollars lost each year. Uh, the Somalis, then, and that's just going over to kill our troops. You know, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We need to stop it. Carolyn Ham did mention in the meeting that people aren't responsible for the fraud 
they committed because they didn't understand the cultural differences. I'm wondering what Carolyn Ham means about people having different cultural values. Is she saying that some cultures support fraud? I don't know what she meant by that. that that I saw her say that. I'm curious about that. Because we're just sick of this, and that nothing's really being done about it. So we're here, citizens, as normal people. You can join us if you're sick of this as well. This is not acceptable. We will not have our money being smuggled in suitcases through the Minneapolis airport and sent to Somalia. This has to stop, and their people have to be held accountable. And our elected officials have to be held accountable. And people need to go to prison for this, because we're just not going to take it anymore. We didn't really get the answers we were looking for, basically. Um, I mean, the Minnesota taxpayers are being taken to the cleaners, for sure.